What's up guys, it's Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your touchpad is not working on your Windows 10 laptop or PC and how to fix it. So before we begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems, then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. The first thing I would like you guys to confirm is that your Windows version is up to date and updated to the latest version and also you have disconnected your external mouse and check whether you can use your keypad now. If you cannot use your keypad then I now recommend that you use your keyboard to navigate on your Windows PC or laptop or use an external mouse and attach it to your device and use that to navigate to follow the steps in this video. So the first solution is toggling your touchpad on using the dedicated touchpad key. So if you are on a laptop then you must have a dedicated touchpad key. In my case I have the F6 key as my touchpad key. So if I press F6 or Fn that is the function key. So Fn plus F6 or the F7 key so F7 or F7 plus Fn key then it toggles my touchpad on and off and you might have a different key but it will have a touchpad drawn on top of it so just toggle your touchpad on and off from this dedicated key and see if that works also if you have a very old laptop then you won't have a touchpad key but a touchpad dedicated button so you can go on the internet and check whether your dedicated touchpad button is and then just toggle it on and off and check whether that fixes your problem now for the next step we're going to edit the mouse pointer settings so just go to your windows search and then search for mouse settings once you open up the mouse settings then go to additional mouse options and in additional mouse options go to pointer options then in select a pointer speed make sure that you have a good speed that is in the middle of the slider and then make sure that you have check enhance pointer precision on and then just save your changes and check whether that fixes your problem. Now since you are in settings just go to the touchpad settings and then in the touchpad settings make sure that you toggle your touchpad on from here and make sure that you select leave touchpad on when a mouse is connected. Then just scroll down until you find reset your touchpad and then just click on the reset button if it is available for you and after that restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Now for the next step we are going to update our drivers for the touchpad. So just go to your windows search and then search for device manager. Once you open up the device manager then just go to the mice and other pointing devices section and then you'll find either one HID compliant mouse or multiple HID compliant mouse. If that's the case then you have to repeat this step for all of them. So I suggest that you do this step for all the devices present in the mice and other pointing devices section. So I'm just going to show you the procedure using one device but you have to repeat this step for all of them. What you have to do is right click on it and then click on uninstall device and then just click on uninstall. After you do that then just go to the action tab and then click on scan for hardware changes and it should bring back your device back to the device manager. If it doesn't, don't worry. Just restart your PC and Windows will automatically add up the device which you just uninstalled automatically. So after it is back, then again right click on it and this time go to update driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. After that, once the process finishes, then just restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Again, you have to do this for all of the devices present in the mice and other pointing devices section. If this did not fix your problem, don't worry. Again, right click on your device and click on update driver. But this time go to browse my computer for driver software. And then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. After that, do not pay attention to the models list. Just click on next and then install the driver. Once you do this, then again restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem and you have to repeat this step for all the devices as I said. And finally, if this also did not fix your problem, then I recommend that you download your touchpad drivers manually from your manufacturer's website. So just go to your manufacturer's website. For my case, I have the Lenovo laptop. So I just go to Lenovo and then download the touchpad drivers from their website 
and then just install them easily using the installation wizard. After that, just restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. Now moving on to the next solution, just go to your Windows search and then search for run and in run type in regigit. Once you open up the registry editor, just navigate to HK local machine, then software, then Microsoft, then Windows, then current version, and then policies, and then system. Once you're there, you'll find a H key known as enable cursor suppression. Just double click on it and then change its value. If it is one, then change it to zero. And if it is zero, then just change it to one. After that, restart your PC and check whether that fix your problem. Now we just have two more solutions left in this video. So the first thing you have to do is right click on your taskbar and then go to task manager. Once you're in task manager, just go to the startup tab and then scroll down until you find your laptop's utility manager or your touchpad operator. So for my case, it is the Lenovo Utility UWP and this software manages my touchpad. So what I have to do is make sure that it is enabled. So if it is disabled for your case, just enable it. And the next step is to go to your control panel. So just go to your Windows search and then search for control panel. Then go to programs and then programs and features. And here search for the program that manages your touchpad and after you find it then just right click on it and then click on repair after this just restart your pc and check whether that fix your problem and now for the final step i recommend that you use the command prompt commands to fix this issue so just go to your windows search and then search for command prompt then right click on it and then click on run as an administrator once you open up the command prompt as an administrator then just type in the following commands. I'll link these in the description below for you to check out. These are the DISM commands and then the SFC space slash scan now command. So just paste the DISM commands in the order of check health, scan health and restore health. And then paste the SFC space slash scan now command. And once you run all of these commands, then just restart your PC and check whether your problem is fixed. So this was it for this video guys, I hope you liked it and this video helped you. If it did not help you then you can just comment down below or email us and we can make a specific solution video which is made specifically for your problem. And if it did then just consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.